Hello everyone, my name is Danny. This review is for the movie called The Angels Share. This is a 2012 movie. It is rated R. It runs an hour and 40 minutes and it stars Paul Brannigan, John Henshaw, and Roger Allum. The description? Narrowly avoiding jail, new dad Robbie vows to turn over a new leaf. A visit to a whiskey distillery inspires him and his mates to seek a way out of their hopeless lives. This is The Angel's Share. Well, thank you everybody for watching this video. Um, if you'd like any correspondence with me outside YouTube, I do have my Facebook page up and running. It's Danny's Movies and Music. If you'd like to go check that out, I do have a lot of bonus content on there, and I would appreciate it. Um, this comes to me, obviously, off of research, because I do that at the beginning of every month, and I bring to you older movies that I haven't seen before, and I'm probably always going to do this, because there's always movies in every year that people will never see, and uh, I try to watch those, plus there's ones that I will never see. So it's just kind of a system that works for me. And, and um, <clears throat> excuse me. And this one is a nice one that I'm glad I found. Uh, it's only eight years old. It does come from another country, so that's fine. Um, usually with these kind of movies, I wonder if I'm going to understand the accents. And this one I didn't really... Uh, understand too much but I understood the story and I understood their motivation and so it was a little bit more meaningful for me and I actually enjoyed myself because I was able to understand the concept I was under and I was able to follow the story I was able to you know understand what they're trying to say even though I couldn't understand their exact words so um so with a movie like this, uh, I do like to try and compare it to something, and I kind of always fall back on the Ocean's 11, 12, and 13 movies, and um, those were just so interesting. They always had motivation for what they're trying to pull on a heist, and so this one is kind of like that in a small little way. Um, some movies are more exciting, you know, all this stuff, but uh, this one has that feeling to it um it also has the feeling of Robbie being in some trouble and if he doesn't do this then he's going to be in more trouble because if he doesn't pull off you know something to get some money to pay back his debts then he's gonna be in a lot more trouble and when you throw in that factor to movies I actually watched one on Netflix kind of like that last night and uh, that's over on my Facebook page if you want to check that out. And um, when you, we have these movies, whether it's from another country or from the USA, they're all kind of the same where, you know, you want to cheer for the person that has to do this job just because he owes people money. Most of the time they have someone like a girl or a girlfriend or a new love interest that they also throw into the movie. That's the case here. Uh, Robbie just has a newborn baby. And so, like, he's fighting for a lot, you know. This is a very meaningful movie. It's very much, uh, you know, there's lots to, there's lots on the line. And so, we're always cheering for Robbie. We're always cheering for his friends. I can't say that they focus on the story moving forward all the time which I could have used a little bit more of, you know, I mean, they're kind of walking around, they're kind of scouting out the place, and the actual thing doesn't happen till pretty late in the movie, and so, and, uh, I think I always like the action to be a little bit more moving, you know, if you're having people sit around and talk, that's fine, if you're having people plan for their heist, that's fine, but if you're just having them kind of sit around and talk about nothing, you're having them walk around, you're having them go with the family for a day, like that kind of stuff is just not needed. You know, you can throw that stuff out in editing. So, um, otherwise I mostly enjoyed this movie. I think it's worth a watch if you can find it. Uh, obviously a lot of people have since it's uh, eight years old. And um, 
I, I think it's worth it because of the idea of the movie and the feeling of the movie. Uh, the things that they place in here trying to be something else. Uh, I think they pull it off pretty well. Uh, I think the things that would have made it better for me is being more understood, uh, the camera work, uh, the audio a little bit, and just keeping the excitement moving, you know, forward, not trying to throw in so much and uh, kind of distract us. But um, the way that they explain the name of the movie, The Angels Share, uh, that's interesting um, why they call it that. Uh, that's a kind of a nice story. And the actual thing that they pull off uh, is pretty comedic. You know, throughout this movie, we do have some good laughs. Um, so there's a lot of good to this. It could have been a lot better. Um, I think the actual heist that they do is very interesting, very unique. So I'm going to give the Angel share a B. Um, I think for it to be an A... I could have used some less stupidity and understood them a little bit more, but overall it's a pretty good movie. So I do suggest uh, The Angel Share, and I'm going to give it a B. Thanks a lot, guys. My name's Danny. If you like this or any of my other videos, try and give some of them a watch. Like and subscribe to my channel if you would. Enjoy your movies. Thanks.